So here we are going to be solving for the specified variable to start with. And we're going to begin with solving for d equals rt. So the first thing I want to do is know what letter I'm solving for. And in this case, we are going to solve for r. So if we're going to solve for r, I need to move away whatever is next to r. In this case, t is being multiplied on r. So I'm going to do the opposite, and I'm going to divide. So d divided by t would be equal to r. Over on this equation, I'm going to do a little bit different. So I'm solving for c. So the first thing I want to do is move whatever terms are away from that. And the negative 4k or the minus 4k is happening right here. So I'm going to do the opposite of what's being done, and I'm going to move it to the other side. That'll get me t plus 4k is equal to 3 times c. Now to solve for c, all I need to do is divide by 3. So t plus 4k over 3 is equal to c. The next equation we're going to do to solve is this one right here. And if you're in the class, you can follow along with the numbers. So on this one, the first thing I need to do is distribution. So it's going to get me 6y plus 54, because 6 times y is 6y, and 6 times 9 is 54, is equal to 8y plus 54. So I'm going to subtract my 6y. That leaves me with 54 is equal to 2y plus 54. Subtract my 54 from this side, and I end up with 0 is equal to 2y. It's OK to equal 0. So now I'm going to divide by 2, and 0 divided by 2 is 0. You can't divide by 0, but you can divide by 2 into 0. The next question we're going to look at is number 20, and it's a, the word problem where we have a student scored uh, three test grades, and we need to figure out what he must score on the fourth test in order to have an average grade of at least an 85. So what you want to do here is add up your test grades, plus you're going to put in something for the fourth test grade, and it needs to be at least, so that means it's greater than or equal to 85. And then I need to divide the four test by four to make sure that we are um, getting an average. So I'm going to add my three test grades, which will get me 244 plus x over 4 is greater than or equal to 85. Now what I want to do is I want to clear out my 4 on my denominator because it'll make it easier to solve. So that's going to get me 244 plus x is greater than or equal to 340. Now all I have to do is subtract my 244 And that'll get me x is greater than or equal to 96. So that means the student must score at least a 96 in order to make the 85 average. 